Hey everyone, it's Christian here, and yes, that's right, I'm back with another Palm vlog. This is going to be a review of the Seychelles Stilt Root Palm, also known by its Latin name Versifeltia splendida. And this palm is native to the Seychelles Islands, as you would guess from its common name. And it is, <clears throat> it's definitely uh, a collector palm that is well known by palm growers because of its, it has fast growth. It's not too hard to grow, but it is very cold sensitive. And that's going to be the way that most uh, palms from the Seychelles Islands are going to be. There's six palms that are endemic to the Seychelles. And uh, the majority of them are, are spiny. They have this entire leaf growing. You can see it kind of keeps this entire broad leaf with an orange midrib. Um, and it has the spines, although they're not terrible. Uh, if I get in there, they're, when they emerge, you can kind of put your fingers down. They're not... I mean, I wouldn't put your hands in them, but they're not as rigid as you would think. They're they're thinner, but if you want to get your if you want to get stabbed by a spine, you definitely can with this plant. So uh, <clears throat> you can see the stilt roots are forming here. This is this is a juvenile. Uh, a big big ones are hard to kind of come by because of they have to be in a greenhouse, uh, and a lot, they have to be watered constantly. These these plants cannot dry out. And we'll talk about stilt root palms. So stilt root palms basically. Uh, when they emerge new, for example, every time a leaf base is dropped, a new root will form most of the time, and that will it'll grow downward into the soil. And these roots want need to be they want to be moist at all times. So this is definitely a rainforest plant. Uh, if you have a greenhouse, it's going to be better for that because you can control the moisture. Uh, I would not leave this out in the full sun unless in you know un, un, with no irrigation, unless you live in a tropical climate that does get regular rain, such as say the Big Island of Hawaii or. <clears throat> Uh, rainforest Australia, Malaysia, that sort of thing. So, as far as cold tolerance, this palm, uh, I've seen it die at 38 degrees. I've seen it survive at 38, as, you know, at, at 30, 32 degrees. Uh, it really depends on how big the plant is. You know, I've seen them try to be planted out in, in South Florida. In the end, most of them tend to to die with time. They're not. They're very wind. They're not very wind resistant. I mean, they're very wind resistant, so it does break up the leaves a lot. Even in the, the shade house here, you can see that's not natural for the plant. It will split a little bit when more mature, but it is for in in normally it is uh, an entire leaf, uh, pretty much its whole life. And uh, the seed is going to be the seeds of these are a little bit different. They're going to be a little bit uh, the fruit is going to be round, but the seed is going to look like a uh, <clears throat> how can I explain? Like a really, like a big, like a warty golf ball, a little miniature marble, a warty marble. And you just have to plant them in the, you can plant them halfway in the soil, give them plenty of water and heat, and they'll grow. They'll put out a little spike. They're actually relatively easy to germinate. Uh, you know, they, and they can take fast draining or, or poorly draining soil. I recommend the faster draining because you can, you can control it a little bit better. So, uh, these will do well in sunny, in, in full sun if you are, uh, if you live in a tropical climate that does get rain almost every day. If you're not, try and keep it out of the, keep it in a protected area for both the wind, and the sun, and the cold. Uh, that's the downside is it really doesn't, you can't plant this out, for example, you know, can you just plant it out here in the yard? It's going to have to stay in the, in the shade house or the greenhouse. Uh, try and keep it above 45 to 50 degrees at all times, 50 preferably. So now that... The cool thing is the, the new spines on these actually are pretty soft. The, the old spines can be a little bit more rigid. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this plant. It is, uh, you can find these again in South Florida. Some guys that sell online. You might find it on eBay. You might find a better deal from wholesalers in Hawaii. And I might, like I said, I'm going to talk to my friend, see if he wants to be mentioned in the vlog. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's one thing for me to explain these plants to you, but... If, if you guys wanted to grow it yourselves, you obviously want to know where you can get it. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I will, um, you know, if you have any questions about where to get this plant, leave it down below. Um, if you have it, you know, like if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, and there'll be more uh, videos like this to come. And have a nice day.